had an older individual in my life who sexually abused me. Literally taught me everything there was about having sex with a man. And the reason I don't cons... It's a toughie because I usually get in trouble here with people who are about sexual abuse. It was sexual abuse. Hands down, that's what it was. For me, it was a sexual awakening. It was a moment I finally realized, oh, wow, I'm kind of understanding why I look at men the way I do and why I find certain things fascinating. Even at five and six years old, I still remember standing outside that gay bar shaking like a leaf, which isn't the first time I've done this. I did it in, the, in college in Tennessee. I stood outside. I sat outside a gay bar and never went in, afraid to go in. Um, and now I'd been to gay bars with friends. I'd gone with my teens and stuff. I'd never gone to one by myself. And, uh, and I did, I walked in and I, I was shaking the entire time. I thought somebody's going to catch me and tell my story and da, 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 da. And ironically, somebody did catch me. This really beautiful, handsome British guy caught me. And when I came out of the closet, the most extreme thing that happened was extreme weight loss. I went from over 300 pounds to 190 wow. in six months. Jeepers. And people saw me, people who knew me, my parents being one of those who was not happy with the coming out, and they're like, well, I wish you'd just admit that you're HIV positive. So that was their blueprint for my uncle. That was not the case whatsoever. Even my husband, when he met me and we have pictures of me, he's like, yeah, I wasn't sure if you were healthy or not. To me, it's like, that's just part of the journey, man. That's just part of coming out again. You're going to have some stuff that's going to trip you up. You're going to have some stuff that challenges you. You're going to have some stuff that says, oh, my God, I can't do this. Well, of course you can't because the whole journey is about you're starting in that same space. You start in confusion. Every time, everything starts in confusion so that you can go get curious, build the courage, step into your confidence, commit to being what you're going to be, and then consistently go do it. 